For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is holiday season in the United States. This year, though, the U.S. is going through one of the worst crises in recent times. As of November 27th, the U.S. has reported more than 13.2 million COVID-19 cases with close to 270,000 deaths. The country is recording over 10,000 new cases every day. However, COVID-19 is not the only crisis affecting the country. According to a recent study, the poverty rate in the U.S. rose by 2% over the summer. In September and October, the poverty rate rose to 11.3%. The Poor People's Campaign estimates that the number is much higher, though, and that even before the pandemic, 140 million people are poor or one emergency away from being poor. Mile-long queues at food banks are being seen across the country. People are waiting hours to pick up food and essential goods in states like California, New York, Wisconsin, Texas, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and South Carolina. In Los Angeles, volunteers estimated that more than 1,000 people lined up on Saturday outside just one food bank. Almost 26 million Americans are reportedly struggling to afford food, up by 6 million because of the pandemic. Recently, Feeding America, a nonprofit that runs food banks and soup kitchens, estimated that the number of individuals dependent on such aid to feed themselves may rise up to 50 million by the end of the year. At least a quarter of all children are expected to be affected too. Meanwhile, jobless claims rose up to 778,000 in the week ending on November 21st. The total number of people receiving unemployment benefits under schemes across the country is 6.1 million. 13 million people face a major crisis by the end of the year, as two important programs providing benefits to the unemployed are set to expire. Amid the lack of food and work, many face the risk of evictions. According to studies, close to 13 million people are at risk of being evicted when the moratorium on evictions imposed by the CDC expires on December 31st. Before the pandemic, close to 3.7 million people were evicted every year. Families forced out of their homes will have to go to shelters or double up at relatives or even sleep in the streets. This will make them even more vulnerable to the virus. Meanwhile, 650 U.S. billionaires increased their wealth by $1 trillion since March. Yeah, 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 yeah.